Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about Yokomo's latest foam tire that they've come out with. Uh, now this is their CRT S rubber, uh, it's uh, the pink compound. Uh, from what I understand, the actual compound has stayed the same, but the actual design that they've uh, offered in the package uh, is a little bit different. Uh, as you can see here, we have uh, two donuts. We have the inner donut here and the outer donut. Now, when you separate the two donuts, you will have a small one and a big one, like so. Now, the smaller ones fit perfectly onto the rims, as you can see here. Now, the great thing about this is you don't have a huge amount of foam to cut down. I'll just do a quick measurement here for you. These measure out to 43.5 on the front and this the rear measures out to 42.88. So you have less time cutting down to the foam tires to a, a race ready size, um, which is great because you know you don't have to spend all that time hacking away, bringing down the tires down to this size here, which is great. It's very convenient to have that. Now, since we've mounted these smaller donuts on these foam tires, what do we do with these? Like they're too big. Like I could, I could try glue it on, but it wouldn't work. Now, I actually uh, spent uh, some time uh, speaking with uh, the uh, Yokomo uh, mechanic, uh, Naya Kitagawa, and I asked him, like, well, what's the deal with these large donuts? What do we do with them? And he jokingly said, well, you're going to have to take some scissors, cut them, like so. And I... I was a little surprised. I'm like, well, they're basically ruined. Like, you can't use them anymore. And he said, oh, no, you can use them, but you're going to have to do a few things. What you have to do is you have to unroll the actual foam strip out. And then take a ruler and simply measure 116 millimeters. Okay? So we have... Our ruler here we measure out to 116 millimeters like so and then what you do is you go ahead I'm just very you cut it okay I didn't cut it to 116 millimeters because I'm not going to uh, mount them today I've cut them a little bit larger so next time I do mount them I'll uh, size them up properly so let's say for example I've cut this strip to 116 millimeters now, what you want to do is you want to take some adhesive tape, all right? You don't want to use like a really sticky tape. You just want to use like painter's tape, masking tape that you can easily peel off after you're done, all right? So what you do is you actually put the tape on the inside like so, okay? And then you go ahead and you match up the foam as best as you can, obviously doing this video, I can't get it perfectly at the beginning, but you want to spend some time making sure that A, the cuts that you've made with your scissors or knife are nice and straight, and B, you want to make sure that the actual seam is butted up against each other as close as possible, okay? Now, what you want to do is you want to open it just slightly, all right? And then you are, you are going to take some uh, medium uh, contact uh, cement, you know, this, the, the glue that you actually use for mounting your tires onto the rim, okay? You don't want to use uh, fast-acting CA glue. You want to use a slow-curing um, glue, which gives you some time to set this properly, all right? And so once you're done with that, you peel the tape off like so, and then you have your completed donut. Now, this is the one that he went ahead and demonstrated with me. 
<clears throat> he demonstrated this in front of me, and this is what you get. Now, it looks a little bit messy. I was a little bit skeptical. I, I said to him, I'm like, well, will this be all right? Like, I know with 112 scale, you want your tires to be absolutely perfect when it comes to the surface of the tire. And he said, yeah, there won't be a problem with this, but these will only be good for practice. So uh, don't expect to use these uh, foam tires when you're competing, okay? This is just for its, uh, practice sake, and you should be fine uh, with uh, using this uh, setup here. Obviously, you want to make sure that uh, when you do glue, it's uh, nice and seamless, okay? Um, and also, when you do true it down, you'll just have like a very faint line that will go across, and I don't think it will vastly affect the overall handling of the car. But, you know, the great thing is, is like you get uh, four sets of race, uh, sorry, not four sets, you get uh, two sets of uh, race ready foam tires for your fronts and rears but you also get an additional uh, two sets that can be used for practice as well which I think is a uh, great value for the money and like to be honest with you I don't necessarily like truing down foam tires that are brand new out of the package just for practice and I think this is a really smart idea that they've done uh, by offering you know your race ready foam tires but also you get like an additional uh, donut which you do have to kind of put in a little bit of effort you know with cutting and preparing but it gives you that extra set where you can actually um, you know go out and do some practice laps with the same foam compound so you're not actually wasting away your nice race prepped uh, uh, tires but I know some of you out there don't like uh, gluing and making your own tires but you know there is a cost advantage to it all uh, you do save quite a bit of money by uh, by making your own tires. You get to also choose your own you know, rim color design, your own foam uh, compound selections. So it is worth uh, gluing your fingers together. It is worth, you know, you know gluing, uh, screwing up a few foam tires. <laughs> but, you know, uh, I've been doing it for a couple of years now and uh, I quite enjoy it. And... Not only that, like I've experienced some foam tire manufacturers uh, where their gluing processes weren't up to par and I found later on in a run that uh, the central part of the actual foam wasn't glued. It basically blew out. So it's also good. Uh, it's also a, offers a peace of mind that, you know, when you are gluing your tires, it's your responsibility and you know how much effort you put into it. So. There you have it. All you need is some scissors, a ruler, and some tape and some glue. Unfortunately, my glue is all run out, but then there you go. You can make your own uh, uh, practice tires to go alongside uh, your race-ready tires. And uh, I think Yokomo's done a really smart thing by offering this to customers. And, you know, you basically uh, get uh, an extra set of uh, foam tires uh, without uh, the price increasing. All right. I hope this was of help. If you have any questions, leave me a message in the comments below. All right, bye-bye.